Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you what picture settings I'm using for HDR effect on Avatar Blu-ray movie. This is the Avatar Blu-ray movie that I owned since uh, 2010, April. And what's really unique about this television, having this television E8 along with the OPPO UDP-203 is that you are getting an amazing upscaling processing here. Uh, as you all know, Alpha 9 A9 processor, it's a highly acclaimed processor that really does a great job upscaling your existing 1080p Blu-ray movies to fit that 3.8 million pixels on this canvas, okay? now. On top of that, obviously, you got organic light emitting panel, which adds the best possible contrast ratio. Now, when you have that contrast ratio on top of the uh, really awesome upscaling, then you got this other feature called HDR effect, which I leave on the medium. Now, really important to remember, this is not the real high dynamic range metadata, okay, this is a fake HDR, okay, but it does a really great job implementing that effect. So you have, on top of a really great contrast ratio, you got even better uh, depth of picture when you apply the uh, HDR effect level, all right. And this is better than nothing, considering that this is not a 4K uh, movie, considering this is not a HDR movie, I think it's pretty awesome that you have this ability to do this on the OLED. And this is yet another reason why you might want to think about getting the OLED because this is the kind of experience you're going to get. Uh, OLED, it's an excellent panel for movies. If you love movies, I'm telling you, look no other than the OLED panel. So let me show you the settings that I'm using here really quick. So remember, we are on the picture mode settings, HDR effect. And remember, we have to pretend that uh, we are using a real HDR, but in this case, we're using a fake HDR, so we'll pretend that we're using an HDR. So the contrast and the OLED light has to be set at maximum. All right, this is something that has to be set at maximum. Just remember the HDR effect uh, volume needs to be at medium. Don't go all the way to the to the strong. Leave it in the medium because you already have all it in contrast set to maximum. Down below, we got the brightness at 50, which is perfect. And down here, we got the sharpness at 20. And down here, we got the color at 50. If you look at this, settings these settings that i'm showing here for you guys you can tell that everything looks balanced nothing's oversaturated nothing's being uh outlined with digital sharpness everything looks balanced now color temperature it's w25 means warm 25 why do i have it at the warm 25 i have it at the warm 25 because this is a movie, and you want to have that movie experience. All right, and that's why I left it at 25. Remember, this is only for this movie, because this is a different type of a movie that requires different type of an HDR uh, effect settings to be implemented. Because every movie is different, guys. Every movie has a different principle photography, different tone of color, everything on every movie that you watch it's gonna look different. And therefore you'll have to utilize different settings for every niche movie. I don't care what anybody says, there are no universal movie settings, guys, because every movie is different, okay? That's just my opinion. Let's go to the advanced control. Now dynamic color, I left it at medium because uh, I have my color at 50 and I also have my color gamut at wide, so I just want the color to pop a little bit more. Remember, that's another benefit of, of, of trying to create a tone mapping of HDR, is to give a little bit of that color pop. 
Not too much, but just a little bit. So I left it at medium. Uh, dynamic contrast is off because we already have HDR effect. You cannot use that. And the color gamut is set to wide. So these are the settings that I'm using. And remember, you have to have your HDR effect in the medium for this to, to really look this good. You have to have it at the medium. And if you look at this picture settings, if you look at this HDR effect, if you, if you were here in person to see this, you would realize just like how good this is. And it's almost as if I'm watching, honestly, a 4K version of a movie with an HDR. So this is a this is a big benefit for those of you who would like to experience your your entire collection of your Blu-ray movies that you have. Maybe you got 300, 400, 500 Blu-ray movies, and I think having an OLED will help you get the best possible picture qual quality out of that Blu-ray. All right? Because this movie, it's not available in 4K and HDR yet. So this is the best that we got so far. It's the Avatar Blu-ray. So I hope that you guys will try these settings. I hope that you will use the HDR effect. It doesn't cost you anything to try this out. If you don't like it, remember, you can always go back to your standard settings or whatever the settings that you have on your presets you can use and that's why I'm sharing this video I'm trying to help you guys out I'm not trying here to say oh I know this so I know that I'm not here to brag I'm just here to share my recipe with you and I'm here to show you why maybe you should consider getting the OLED guys this whole fear of burning it's really it's getting old it's really getting old guys if if this was a big issue if the burning was a big issue that everyone's been out there gossiping and you know fear mongering if that was the big issue guess what guys the lg wouldn't be in business of making oleds they would lose a bunch of stock they would lose a bunch of money their shareholders would have pulled out listen uh their investors would have pulled out and their shareholders would have go down the toilet so if that was the major major problem and it was just like this ridiculous epidemic of a burn-in. Guess what? Or retention. You would not see any more OLED from the LG. They would move to a different type of technology, probably micro-LEDs or whatever. Okay. So, yes, could you potentially get a burn-in? Of course. Could you potentially uh, get a headache? Yes. Could you potentially have leukemia yes could you potentially get a cancer yes could you potentially you know have some sort of uh migraine headache yes potentially everything potentially is possible potentially this potentially that but the way people have made it out to be it's as if as soon as you purchase a oled that's it like you're gonna have a burning immediately and that's not true. Because if it was true, well, then uh, LG would be out of business. They would not be making an OLED. And this is coming from a guy who has a bunch of TVs. You guys know I have it all. And I'm not, here, I'm not here to brag, but you know that I have the televisions. I bought it with my own cash. Okay, I'm not about the money. Would a guy who spends all this money buying all this equipment, would, be, would I be all about money? No. I'm doing this to help you out. I'm do doing this to give you an honest, unbiased view on these different types of televisions that I own. And I can only give you an opinion on what I have. Don't ask me about the televisions that I don't have. I can't talk about something that I don't have. Okay? I can only help you with something that I have, and I can give you my opinion, unbiased opinion, uh, from an unbiased, independent consumer point of view. And that's what this whole thing is about. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, though. Love you all.